Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. A very happy day out there to everybody watching. Today we are going to finalize the decluttering series that I've been doing on my channel. Um, I have all the other videos that linked down below, but I have some totals, some thoughts, and um, opinions on how I thought it would go. I don't know. I'm just gonna wrap up the series, you guys. If you are new here, hi, hello. I am so glad that you are taking the time out of your day. Again, I will have all of the other videos, the decluttering videos, linked down below. There's four of them, right? One, five. There's technically five. Um, I'll include the beauty area uh, rearranging um, video, but there's five videos. Please watch them. Um, anyways. They were a lot of fun to do. Uh, I was not planning on doing this video actually this early. Uh, I had drawer four to do, but our basement flooded. I lost all of drawer four, <laughs> which included 92 pallets. Uh, so, in case you were wondering, I did a 92 pallet purge. Ugh, that hurts to say. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, so let's talk about it. I did purge some things. I uh, decluttered. I reorganized. I feel really, really, really happy with um what I did get rid of. Uh, I had planned on passing a lot of it on to my daughter and a couple friends um, just so they could try it out um, and whatnot. Uh, well, I can't do that but for most of it, um, but that's okay. I, I still feel really, really okay with um, what I did get rid of. And again, every time I open up these drawers, you guys, like it's I am finally happy. It's not overwhelmed. It's not messy. Could I have just reorganized and not got rid of anything? Probably, but it, there's something about getting something out of my bubble, I guess, that just is so freeing. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I love cleaning and organizing. I constantly am doing it, whether it's a drawer or a cupboard or an area. Um, I love pulling everything out, seeing what's there, and not putting everything back, passing it on to somebody that you know, can use it, um, because if it's not bringing me joy, why, why hang on to it? Anyways, oh, long-winded. This is going to be probably harder than I thought. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I did my numbers. Let's start with brushes. I did end up decluttering 81 brushes. 81 brushes? I, like, triple counted that one. I was like, there's no way I got rid of 81 brushes because my brushes are still a lot. <laughs> I mean, I've got brushes behind me, I've got the brushes I used in front of me, and then I have backup brushes for when I don't want to clean brushes, and then I got the ones that I got rid of. Um, they were not on the floor, so I am able to pass those on to somebody that might need them. My daughter, um, my teenage daughter is starting to get in makeup, so she, you know, she is in need as well. Uh, so, wow, the, look at, the, what is up with this? It's like straight curly, you guys. You see this? Like, I took a curling iron. Anyways, wow. Well, gray hair is crazy, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, 81 brushes. I had 81 extra brushes laying around and no wonder I felt so overwhelmed when I went over like to my brush area and I just kept cleaning my favorites, the ones I kept using over and over again because I would walk over there and get frustrated and end up pulling them out and it just made a mess and, and then I just keep buying brushes. <laughs> I love buying beauty items as it is, uh, but brushes are they got out of control but they are not out of control anymore and I feel so much better um I actually have been just taking my dirty brushes and grabbing from my stash of brushes so I have it's that's a lot of brushes but I feel so much better about that I very happy with how I did on in that aspect um the next declutter video was primers foundations concealers and powders yeah I didn't think I was gonna do very well but I did all right. Um, I did get rid of 25 total, um, three primers, 12 foundations, five concealers and five powders. Um, I, the powders or the foundations, a lot of them I got rid of, uh, like the, the, there was a stick foundation I didn't like. There was a couple, uh, powder foundations. Actually, I think there were like three powder foundations, a couple, um, cushion foundations that I just, they're not my thing. I just get rid of them. So I'm really, really happy with, um, that area too. That is actually, yeah, I don't have that in a, in a drawer anymore. Um, I, they, what I used to have was a set of two drawer systems that stacked on top of each other. The bottom one I had to take to the road. So, um, 
like that, that was ruined, but I do have the, the top one. Well, one, a two unit drawer. Oh, you guys, this is, this is all over the place. Uh, crazy pants. But, uh, anyways, I can see my area now. I can see what's in my blush or my powders, my foundations. Um, I didn't get, I got rid of what? One primer? <laughs> Three primers. I get rid of three primers. What primers did I get rid of? Oh, I included like the eye primer and stuff like that that I had multiple of and I was going to pass on to my daughter. But anyways, um, well, all of that is not being passed on. Um, all of that was thrown away. <laughs> I am not doing monetary value. Uh, that that hurts. Just the sheer number um, is overwhelming as it is. Okay, we have part palpitations. Um, anyways, the next video that was decluttered was... Blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and face palettes. A very terrifying um, drawer for me because I love face products. But I ended up getting rid of 20. Like, wow. I was really surprised. Like, I didn't... Even when I edited the video back and we watched it and everything like that. And then I took pictures. Um, for insurance reasons. Um, and then I... So I'm, I'm counting. And I was like, wow. I, I mean, 20 isn't a great big declutter, but 20 items that I was hanging on to that wasn't bringing me joy. That's, that's a lot. Um, my daughter is sad that, because the Betty Boop thing was in there. Um, she was, she's been wanting that. Yeah. So she's a little bummed Be, that, because that was on the floor, um, as well. I was saving everything in one box to share at the, in this video. <laughs> um, so the box, obviously, um, but yeah, you guys, um, I did really good. I'm, and it, that stuff it did put into a drawer and it is so, it is so, it's a happy drawer now. It is my happy drawer. Uh, I love that area. I did reorganize and it do a different, uh, kind of organization, uh, organize, or like a, a container, a different kind of container for like the cream products. And oh, it is so much easier to see what I have to find what I want. Um, even so I'm, I'm so, so happy with what I did take out of my collection because that is a, seriously, it's a, it's a very happy drawer. And I have st stood in front of that drawer and practically hugged my makeup, um, because of the water, the water did not touch like three of my drawers. Thank God. Um, <laughs> anyways, Seven face palettes, four blushes, three bronzers, and six highlighters. That's that's not too shabby. Those are those are some pretty happy numbers. I mean, I know I have. Do I have more than the average person? Probably. I mean, am I an average person? No, I don't think. Do, would I have all this makeup if I wasn't doing YouTube? Yeah, I would. Honestly, um, <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> Um, I just, I love makeup that much. So it's not a huge declutter because a lot of this stuff does bring me joy. But anyways, the next video was lippies, mascaras, um, eyeliners, eyebrows. Uh, what else was in there? Um, anyways, that drawer, I got rid of 39 items. 39. That's, that's a lot. I am so happy with that number. Um, Especially the lipsticks, like that drawer, like overhauled, it's doesn't even look like the same drawer and it just makes me so happy. I did only get rid of one mascara, four single cream shadows that I, that I don't, didn't like, and I was going to pass them on, but, uh, five brow products and 27 lipsticks. Oh, it's so freeing, um, to not have those. Uh, so 39 39. Yes. 39. Uh, that's a lot. I mean, most of that was lipstick and that's kind of shocking to me. And it really tells me that I keep, I keep buying and I just, and it, that aspect, because I got rid of so much in the lipstick or lippy area, um, included, well, I didn't get rid of any lip liners, but like lip gloss and lip stains and lipsticks and all that lip pigments, I guess. Um, because I think that was the biggest number that I did, um, declutter out of my collection. That was the biggest number that isn't bringing me joy. That tells me slow it down, use what you have because it does bring me joy. And that, that's a lot to get rid of. I mean, that's a lot. 
And let's let's just really quick talk about drawer four. <laughs> um, I, uh, when I, I was on vacation and came home to uh, water in the basement, there was a basically drawer of eyeshadow soup. I mean, you want to talk about sad? I'm out. Um, anyways, there was 92 palettes, 77 eyeshadows, and six face singles that were lost. Um in that group. I did have a box of Beauty Junkies. Um, my husband bought me the rest of the eyeshadows I didn't have, um, as well as an extra blush. And like, I was going to do a full face of nothing but Beauty Junkies. So I had it in a box ready to go for when I got back from vacation. And I wrapped up like Mar bleh, May's shot my stash. I was going to jump into a full month of Beauty Junkies. And that was sitting on the floor over here. Um, cardboard soaks up water. Uh, <laughs> that was all lost. So um, I guess that was 175 items <laughs> lost. Uh, as a grand total, you guys, are you ready? Grand total of my first official, I guess, declutter series, I got rid of 340 items. <laughs> Granted, there was a large chunk of that that was forced um, to purge. I mean, I... <sighs> they are just it is at the end of the day it is just makeup um yes makeup makes me happy but makeup is replaceable my kids my husband my dog they're they're not replaceable and we are all together we are all fine so it sucks i've i've cried a lot i want to cry right now um but the important part is we are all safe and together and, and yeah, I can, I can buy more makeup. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a big deal, but I purged <laughs> basically clean out all of my, um, palettes. I did have a couple palettes sitting up here, thankfully. Um, so those are safe. I, so I have a handful of palettes left, so I don't know. Am I happy with the number? Yes, I'm very happy. Um, even it, if you were to take the 175 items that w I was forced to purge, um, I still, I mean, I still purged a good 200. I still would have purged 165 items and that I would have, I would have gotten rid of a couple palettes. Um, I don't know if I, I would not have gotten rid of singles. I mean, cause I hadn't touched most of them, but palettes, I would have gotten rid of a couple of them. So 165 items that were not bringing me a joy that I was hanging on to that really bums me out that I'm hoarding like that <laughs> I mean, because at the end of the day I'm, I'm hoarding 165 items that were not bringing me joy that's just oh, wow that's just crazy but anyways really really short video I'm trying to get back my happy I am a happy person I am just going through some stuff um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the decluttering and reorganizing series i and it's so fun to sit down and look at all of these actual numbers i mean because they all did actually add they added up i mean 20 here 20 there i mean 81 brushes wow that still amazes me 81 brushes like grr. No wonder that the area was like such a problem, but I feel really, really good. Um, and I want to say thank you to all, all the, like all the customers, <laughs> all of the comments that I got on all of the videos, you guys kept telling me what a great job I was doing and how much you appreciated that I was being honest and just the uh, kindest comments. And thank you so much, um, through the decluttering series. I mean, in general, like my subscribers, you guys, you are so great and amazing. And I appreciate all of you. I have so many friends right now. <laughs> I love be having a beauty friends and how oh, you guys mean a lot to me. You're so sappy. But anyways, I'm going to wrap it up kind of short and sweet, but I did want to go over how I really thought about the process. Do I think I'm going to do another declutter? Uh, maybe not in 2020. <laughs> uh, but maybe, I mean, maybe I will get to a, a, um, a sense of overwhelming. Um, that's where I was and I was very overwhelmed with what I had and it was un unorganized. So I don't know, maybe I don't have anything written in the books. Uh, we only have, it is June, so we only have six months left. So probably, I don't know, 
probably not, I'm going to say, but you never know what the future does bring. But anyways, oh, decluttering series, you are done. <laughs> We're not talking about it anymore. That's a big number. Ugh. Gut check. Anyways, I hope you guys had a great time again throughout this whole series. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Helps me out so, so much. Absolutely subscribe and hit the bell over on the side. <laughs> And share with your friends so I can make more friends here on the YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.